Ready for some sizzling hot peacemaker news? Well, you're in the right place. Sit back and let's dive in. As reported by Deadline, Peacemaker Season 2 will start filming this summer. You may recall that a second season was greenlit early on, and because of the writer's strike and the actor strike, the project was delayed. Gunn also confirmed that he will be filming Peacemaker and Superman simultaneously. Even though Gunn directed a bulk of Peacemaker Season 1, he also confirmed that he will only direct a few episodes this time around. But the bigger question is, how will Peacemaker Season 2 fit into Gunn's new DCU? Well, you're in luck because we actually have a pretty good idea from Gunn himself. Here's what we know so far. Season 1 is no longer canon in the new DCU. Now, this news shocked a lot of fans, including myself. And yeah, it sucks because a lot of people enjoyed the Peacemaker Season 1 storyline, and not to mention that epic cliffhanger ending. This was no doubt a tough choice, but I think ultimately you want to start with a clean slate. So, it makes sense to separate yourself from the old DCEU, Gunn also has been pretty tight-lipped on more details on this, but I'm excited to see how this is going to work. Again, I gather Season 2 is going to be basically a reboot. But what about Eagly? Eagly was certainly one of the breakout stars from Season 1, and thankfully on Threads, Gunn confirmed that, yes, of course, Eagly will be in Season 2, which had me and probably many other fans very excited. New title sequence. It was also confirmed earlier this year that the iconic opening will be different. Yet, it will still have a dance number and it will be equally as awesome. And you know what? I trust Gunn to deliver. Superman and Peacemaker 2. The events in Superman will impact Season 2 of Peacemaker. We don't know a lot about this yet. It gets me so amped up for what Gunn's interconnected universe is going to look like. And it seems fitting that Superman is going to be the first big screen puzzle piece to this new world. In fact, we know another piece of the puzzle pretty early on. Which leads me into the next piece of news. The Waller spinoff series is confirmed to run after season two of Peacemaker. So this is really exciting because um, some people were maybe a little bit scared that the Waller spinoff series was maybe not even going to happen. But thankfully that was confirmed earlier this year. So Gunn also took to his Insta having this to say. So to sum up, Gunn is filming Superman and Peacemaker back to back. He won't be directing all the episodes, but a few. He confirmed that Waller's series is still very much happening. Batmite rumors. So this is one for maybe a handful of people that really want to see Batmite in the, the new DCU. Earlier this year, Gunn sadly put that to bed that uh, Batmite will not be featured in Season 2 of Peacemaker. Now, notice he said Peacemaker and not in any other projects. Gunn is fully aware fans want to see him, so my prediction is he will at least make a cameo down the line, if not, maybe even get his own spinoff. Uh, that's just a wild theory, but I think it's kind of a good one. But to recap, here's everything we know as of recording this video. Season 1 is non-canon. Filming starts this summer. Eagly and other main cast members will return. Superman and Season 2 of Peacemaker will be connected. We will be getting a new intro to the series. Waller series is happening and is interconnected and will be airing after Peacemaker Season 2. No Batmite, at least in Peacemaker Season 2. So now I want to know what you all think. Are you as excited as I am for Peacemaker Season 2? Just in general, uh, what do you feel about James Gunn? Do you think he's going to be a really good fit for uh, DC? Uh, I personally think that he is going to crush it. I was a little bit worried when he was going to bat for the Flash. Um, but I don't know. I don't think you're going to necessarily trash 
a DC project when you just were made co-head of DC. I'm really excited though. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, if you do, please consider giving it a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video. This is when we first became aware of the butterflies. The human body through one of its orifices and borrow through the brain where they're then in control of the body. They go through the butt? I think that's just some uh, creativity on the part of whomever did the animation. The butt is an orifice, okay? That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. Bigotry.